So hi, this is Paris Chan here. Welcome to today's training, today's webinar called MCO5 Models. And this is where I'm going to teach you, I'm going to share a few. What are the five online business that you can start and build even during the MCO period with minimal cost or even zero cost? And I'm going to share with you not based on some theories and so on, but I'm going to share with you based on what I do or what I use or my students are using. So I'm not going to here tell you about how to become a YouTuber and make 100,000 per year, right? Although we have videos, I am uh, the advertising partner for YouTube and so on, but I've never made 100,000 US dollars from YouTube, despite we, we have thousands of subscribers, lots of views and so on. So I can't teach you what I've never achieved, right? Um, I'm not going to teach you about how to build a startup and sell it for millions of dollars because I've never done that. I'm going to teach you what I have done. So based on experience in that sense, I mean, outside there, there are all kinds of people teaching all kinds of stuff, whether they have done it or not. I have no comments about that. But in today's training, it's going to be based on real life results, right? And uh, I'm also going to share with you the strategy behind these five models that you can start. So what I want you to, to, to achieve, my hope is that, right, you can turn this MCO period into profitable months because we don't want to so-called waste this period of time. If you have to be locked down, stay at home, mind as well, um, build something, mind as well, start something, mine as well, turn it into profitable months for you. All right. So um, that's what this is all about. It's going to be very straightforward. I'm just going to go ahead and teach, teach, teach uh, what I have prepared for you. And I'm also going to share with you about our upcoming virtual summit or two days virtual summit. If you have already secured a ticket, just type secured, right? Just type yes um, or something like that to let me know that you have, you have already secured your ticket. So what I want you to do is to share with you, to teach you for this next 60 minutes or so. And if you're interested, then you can learn for two days uh, of additional content for real world experts, right? So that's what I'm going to do. So there's no surprise, you know, I'm, I'm telling you upfront, you know, this is the whole purpose is to teach you and also to invite you to come to our virtual summit that's happening, right? So I've seen some of you have already secured your spot. Ivan, uh, BC, who else have already secured your spot to the virtual summit? Just let me know that. All right, so uh, there's going to be two days of solid training prepared for you. So um, with that said, let me just go ahead and, uh, and start. So the... Number one question is this. Number one question that we want to answer is how can I use this computer, like this computer that you're using right now to attend this training? How can you use it with the internet and turn that into an online business while working at home? So how can we do that? How can we do that? So instead of us seeing our computer, instead of us just using the internet to watch Netflix or go to YouTube or surf Facebook or surf Google and so on, how can we do that? And that's what I want to teach you today. How can you achieve that? Now, the next question that we have is, is actually this. Despite that, we want to achieve that. Is this the right time? So I'm going to give you some recap of 2020 that is related to the world related to US and related to Malaysia. Why three of these? Because three of these will actually concern your business. Unless uh, if you don't live in Malaysia, then the third one doesn't really concern you. So let's do a quick recap to figure out whether it is actually the right time or not for 2021 right now. So let's do a quick recap. The world, the entire world, this globe gets locked down because of COVID-19 means a lot of countries, states, and so on are under lockdown, all right? And I don't need to explain why it's lockdown because you live in this world, you probably have experienced that at the same time. World economic crash. Like this is one of the worst economic crash ever in human history. Do you know that? It's one of the worst. Um, we have crash where the stock market plummets. We have, we have crash where... 
lots of people has lost money. World economy, not just your country, but the whole world. Black Lives Matter movement in the US happened in 2020. Now, I'm not here to talk about race. I'm not here to talk about politics. You know, I'm not here to talk about sentiment. I'm not here to talk about who's right, who's wrong. But this happened. Black Lives Matter happened. And you know what happened, right? Like huge um, uh, uh, issues in the United States. So there has been a, a time where there has been debates where there are so-called two groups of people uh, split with different opinions. In the U.S. at the same time, uh, up to 10% of recession rate in the U.S. 10%, which means out of 10 people, one person do not have a job, right? Um, in U.S., riots in the U.S. due to different political standpoint. And you know with the president changing uh, where Biden is taking over Trump's administration. A lot of things happen, right? And this in US. And then in Malaysia, we have new prime minister from Malaysia, Muhyiddin Yassin. And we are not here to talk about politics. Some of you say it's great. Some of you say it's not great. I don't care. That is your opinion. Um, care about politics in that sense. But the fact is that with the new change, we also have the new Malaysia, right? Lots of new things happen in 2020, new policies and everything else. And last but not least, many local businesses were not able to sustain anymore. A lot of businesses just, just closed down, real restaurant business, um, uh, tourism business, and so forth. So when we look at this, of what happened in 2020 for the whole world, the US market and the Malaysia market, right? Is this the right time? How many of you think is the right time? Um, type right, right? Just type right. If you think this is the right time of history to actually start this, this despite that all of this that is happening right now. Now here at the same time, right? I want you to also see this. I want to make it clear that we are not denying there are a lot of challenges that happen. But if you were doing any of these three things, right? Chances are you are not affected that badly. First is this, is it an online business? And I'm not referring to you or me. I'm just referring to you globally in that aspect. So what is an online business? It means that the product is actually delivered on the internet. It is not, uh, it is not, Offline, for instance, Netflix. So let's compare offline business and online business in 2020. AMC, which is the largest theater in the United States, lost $561 million. Yeah, $561 million, you know, because they are offline, they have outlets, you know, you, you, you go to cinemas, you watch your movie, you watch Avengers, you watch Captain America, Captain America, Captain, Captain America, Captain America, all right? So you go there and watch and so on. Uh, but Netflix revenue, over 6.14 billion, billion in just quarter two of 2020. We're not even considered quarter three and quarter four yet. Just the first two quarters, they make $6.14 billion of revenue, right? First, so that's the first thing. It's an online business. Netflix product is online. The second thing is this, e-commerce, right? As you know, um, Amazon business saw increase, uh, become very, very, very successful in the United States. Anything that involves e-commerce as in like selling online, selling over the internet, whether digital products, physical products, and so on, the business increase. So are you e-commerce enabled or not? Or you are selling offline? So whatever stuff, any anything that you sell, whether it is um, just looking for things, whether it's like a copper bottle, whether it is uh, specs and so on, if it is e-commerce driven, selling online, the business did not die. If you're relying offline, then there's a constraint there, right? And we all know that 
Jeff Bezos, because Amazon became so successful, he became the richest billionaire in the world. Or maybe second, depending on when, you know, sometimes Elon Musk get number one. So Jeff Boss, just Jeff Boss. Jeff Bezos became number two. So um, they sort of, you know, sometimes up and down. So it's either number one or number two. But the point is that because of Amazon and his, he became the richest billionaire. So ask yourself, are you doing e-commerce or not? Now, when you use the word e-commerce, I'm not referring to just physical products, right? E-commerce is just basically the understanding of that, hey, are you selling online or not? And the third thing is this, e-learning and virtual ex exploded, right? So Forbes published this article, e-learning climbing to 325 billion by 2025. Uh, but the key thing here is this, is that the main thing that contributes towards the growth is none other the pandemic. So people are learning on the internet right now and going virtual. Virtual, as in, as in like, this is virtual right now. In the past, I would have done this through maybe a workshop, right? But now I'm doing all virtual. So you have seen Zoom share price from $71 in October 2019 to as high as $518 by October 2020. You know how many times of, of price increase that is? That is like, oh, my math is not that good. Um, eight times or seven times? About seven times. More than seven X in that just one year period. Now, how crazy is that? And this is just, I'm referring to stats in 2020. So what do I mean by e-learning and virtual? So let's say you do network marketing. Let's say you do insurance business and so on. So, so those are very offline business, right? I mean, you meet people offline, you demonstrate products, you tell them about the opportunity, you tell them about the policy and so on. So those are very offline. So if you do not go virtual, guess what happened to your business? It either died or slowed down very, very bad. But for those who adapt and go virtual, doesn't mean it's e-learning, it's just virtual. Uh, the business continue to, to flourish, continue to grow. In fact, when I built my network marketing business a few years ago, which I no longer active on it because I've already built it, it generated passive income. You know, I continue my other business right now. Uh, we use the internet and build it virtual in that sense. And this is prior to the pandemic, but that is how we adapt towards technology to build a conventional business on the internet in that sense, right? So the thing that I want you to think about is that despite all the challenges that we have in 2020, if you fall into any of these three categories, or let's say you're going to start something during this MCO, if you start in any of these, whether it's online business, whether it's e-commerce driven or whether it's e-learning and virtual, you are on the right trend. It's all about tapping on the right trend uh, to succeed. Just like the right trend is using Zoom right now. This is why this is the first time I'm using Zoom. I have to learn how to use Zoom. I have to so-called get uncomfortable so that uh, I can reach more people and to share my knowledge. Everybody with me, yes? All right. So um, I'm not too sure whether you know who about, about me or my credibility because I, I run Facebook ads and um, you may just see Facebook ads, you see this guy and then you respond to it, the ad and you have no clue who I am, right? So I prepared a short introduction about myself and my credibility. Can I get your permission to, to, to share a bit about me, uh, my credibility? If you can do that, just type yes uh, so that I can run through with you a little bit of that, all right? Okay, so we have a yes, okay. All right, luckily I have a yes. You know, imagine if someone just typed nothing and no yes, um, then I will have to delete my slide because I've already prepared it in advance right now, okay? So uh, let's start with that. So thank you for the yes, uh, Jenny, Zainal, Michael, Stephen, all right? So who am I and my credibility? So I'm a husband and father of, uh, to three children, Marin, Mary Rice, and Reeve. Three kids, two girls, uh, one boy. 
I've spoken in 12 countries as an authority of internet marketing, which include United States, UK, Australia, China, Hong Kong, Indonesia, Thailand, India, uh, Cambodia, Singapore, Malaysia, and a few more countries. Total, there are 12 countries in, uh, in summary. So I have done that in the past and I, I no longer do that because in 2008, I made a decision to sort of semi-retire from, from speaking and traveling all around the world to do what I do. I've authored three best-selling physical books as in like real physical books that you can hold and multiple Amazon bestsellers, which Amazon books are, some of those are eBooks, but the three best-selling books are physical books that if you're in Malaysia, you will see them in MPH and popular and so on. Uh, they're the top 10 best-selling books when it was launched. Next, all right, so I'm a ClickBank Platinum for seven years in a row. ClickBank is basically a, a company that allows you to sell digital products. If you are in this internet marketing industry, you may have heard about ClickBank. If you are new, uh, that's okay, you know, no big deal. But those who know ClickBank, uh, it's sort of a big deal because I don't think any Malaysian has become ClickBank Platinum for seven years. To become a ClickBank Platinum, you've got to generate a minimum, a minimum of 250000 US dollar uh, in, in one year. That is a minimum, right? Uh, which if you work into our ringgit, it's over, it's a seven figure at the bare minimum. So I've been having a track record of seven years in a row with ClickBank selling digital products. I've trained over 11,000 students offline alone, as in like from seminars, workshops, and so on over the past decade. Um, I've spoken for Penang State Government and University Science Malaysia on a topic of entrepreneurship. And I'm the first ever marketer promoted on rhb.com.my, which is a bank, RHB. You know, just imagine that you go RHB do banking and you just see them promoting uh, my event at that time. And I have been doing internet marketing since 2003. I'm known as the internet marketing pioneer uh, because I've been doing this for a while right now. And that's how I've trained 11,000 people over the years. And arguably... I have the most documented testimonials for the local market in English market. Means that these are testimonials of students who achieve results as in like whether they make money on the internet, they build online business, or it could be as paramount as quitting their jobs or becoming an internet millionaire. Some has built businesses and even create jobs for many people. So we have all of those documented testimonials and not just testimonials saying, hey, you know, your salmon is awesome, your training is awesome, Patrick is a good coach and all this kind of stuff. You know, those testimonials are great, but we have real, uh, real testimonials in that sense. So basically, that's like a summary of my credibility. And I bring this up because I want to reassure you, if this is the first time you ever hear from me, that what I'm about to share with you, um, I believe um, information and knowledge that can be very, very useful because I'm not here reading from a book and teach to you. I'm not here attending someone's seminars, learn some stuff and come here and teach. I'm not doing that. These are all based on track records. And uh, the reason I share with you this credibility is that none of this credibility is based on abstract, but real, but based on facts. So I'm not here to tell you, hey, I've been featured in Forbes, you know, uh, but which I have been featured in Forbes, but that's not like a big deal because you could have an article featured in Forbes and call to be featured in Forbes, but not everybody has spoken for Penang State Government or spoken for a university. I hope that sort of makes sense and give you the confidence in today's training. Uh, and I hope that we can have fun. Can we have some fun, right? All right, so the MCO5 models, low cost or even zero cost to start from home. How many of you are excited to learn this today right now? Show me some excitement in the chat there because I need that kind of energy to deliver this content today. All right. So Mike, Michael, excited. Where are you from, Michael? Alice Fernandez. Uh, let me know where you're from as well. Okay. All right. 
So uh, the first model that I want to share with you is called print-on-demand e-commerce, right? This is uh, the MCO model that you can build. It's not just low cost. I could even say it's going to be zero cost for you to get started because you don't need any inventory, right? Let me share with you what it is. It's selling printed products without any inventory, right? Uh, it's called print on demand on sale. So this is a huge opportunity that's happening in the US market, not really in Malaysia market because Malaysia may not have that system or the facility to do print on demand for you. But what it is, basically you sell products which is printed. Let's say a cup, uh, I have some coffee that I bought earlier. So let's say a cup, a mug, and then you can print something on it and sell. So it could be like, you, you print t-shirts, have a design there for moms, t-shirt for uh, cat lovers and so on. There's a huge market opportunity in the US for this right now. I mean, it has been around for many, many years. Even, uh, even despite all the challenges that is going on, there's still a huge market for this in the US market. So let me share with you um, the next two important things here. The first one is this, is the resource. So how do you do print on demand? For me, I use T-Launch previously. You can use tlaunch.com previously. So if you go to the website, uh, it's all system, right? Uh, you don't need to pay for the software. It does all the delivery fulfillment for you and so on. So it's pretty amazing. So let's say if you know some design, you can do your design, you go inside the system, you put your design, in the system and then you choose what products you want to print it on. So for instance, you want to sell t-shirts. I'm just giving you an example. So if you want to sell t-shirts, you can have the design printed on the t-shirt and get this, right? And they will actually do the packaging and shipping, everything from you and you don't have to deal with inventory. Is that awesome or what? That's called print on demand, right? So we use uh, T-Launch in the past to sell T-shirts. I made pretty good money with that, but I kind of stopped because I find it a bit boring. Uh, I'm not really into this whole e-commerce stuff because I think selling physical products is just, is just not my, my passion in that sense. I like to be in the education business as in like I like to be a teacher to teach rather than selling products. But hey, if if it is for you that you like to sell physical products without having inventory for the US market, you can do that. Now, the next question is that, what if I do not know how to design? That's all right, because you can hire designers on the internet. There are many freelance websites like freelancer.com, for instance. You go there, you can find, hey, you know who you're to hire? You can hire someone to do the design for you and own the rights to that design. So then you take that design, you go inside the website, you can put it inside there, and you're good to go. There are many different uh, print-on-demand website systems available out there. I'm sharing tlaunch.com because that's the one that I've used before. I can teach you something that I've never used. Does that make sense? But uh, my, my expert, my speaker, my presenter for the virtual summit, he used a totally different platform and he sell marks. Marks like cup marks, he sell marks, okay? So how do you do this? So here's the thing. In this training, I'm going to share with you the model. I'm going to share with you the strategy. I'm not going to show you how to build a website and so on because we wouldn't have that kind of time, right? Because this is all about learning the million dollar idea because if you use one of these, chances are, you can, you can start something during this MCO period. So the opportunity to sell print-on-demand e-commerce products is first, you got to find a niche and find a trend. So what do I mean by find a niche, find a trend? First, it has to be for a certain group of people. For instance, like to mothers, for instance, right? That is a niche market. To cat lovers, one niche market. To fitness folks, one niche market. To husbands, one niche market, and so on. And keep it very broad, very mainstream. Don't look for like really small niche market. Like for instance, people who, who, who keep ants for uh, ants, like A-N-T, ant, 
like you know keep ants as a pet don't do that right because your market won't be big enough look for people who who have cats as pets dogs as pets and so on so find a niche market and once you find a niche market you got to write on the trend that is the secret to selling print on demand clothes or apparels it could be t-shirts it could be all kinds of products now what is a trend so you got to stay updated to what's happening right now. So to give you an example, right? Like in the US, uh, with Donald Trump and Joe Biden, with the elections, so people will see opportunity there to print um, apparels or products that is related to Donald Trump, right? So for instance, there were people selling coins. Yes, coins, right? It's like a um like something trivia for you to to just keep coins with Donald Trump face on it, right? So that is like one way on how you, you sell print on demand products. So you must understand the nature of this, the advantage of this. What is this? Why this is different than the typical e-commerce? Because print on demand means that you can get your product printed on the same day itself which means that it gives you the opportunity to go inside a hot trend, spot the opportunity, and the very same week, start getting sales. Because you can find the opportunity, right? And, and then design it on the same day and put it up and start selling. So um, that is MCO model number one, print on demand e-commerce. I also want to share with you our featured expert for our virtual summit call athletes.com.my virtual summit. Now, this is insane. Um, one of the experts, his name is Bang. Yes, Bang is like, <laughs> that's how you call his name. I call him Bang. Bang is an underground print-on-demand uh, expert who doesn't speak on stages. You, you can't find him speaking on stages because he doesn't have to. So the virtual summit that I'm organizing, it's... It's unique because we're not going to feature stage speakers. Nothing wrong with stage speakers. But what I did is that I went and looked for my friends and my ex-students uh, who are very successful in a certain niche, a certain skill. And then I tell them, hey, you know, can you come over and start sharing your experience to teach, to educate, to share your experience? So I found Bank. Um, and Bang has spent over $6.1 million just on Facebook alone for his personal small print-on-demand e-commerce business. Now, just imagine this, right? If you live in Malaysia, just imagine you take your credit card and you spend 24 million ringgit on just buying ads to drive traffic to your print-on-demand e-commerce store. Just give me an emoji. How would you react towards that? You take your credit card and somehow you need to raise the limit up to 24 million. Now, of course, you don't, you, don't, you don't spend 24 million in a single month. And you spend 24 million ringgit if you convert that just to buy Facebook ads to promote your e-commerce store. Uh, this is not agency and so on. This is just for his own e-commerce business, right? So nobody knows about his uh, little business. <laughs> I call it little business because it's really little. As in like the way how it looks like, it's like just a normal store. Well, he spent his time traveling all around the world. And uh, if you get to meet up with him in person, uh, there's a very strange reason why he needs to travel all around the world. And I can't tell you this over virtual right now, but if I meet you one-on-one, -on -one, I'll tell you the real reason why he needs to travel all around the world in the entire year. So Bang is a very interesting uh, person because here's what happened. So when I hear about his, his stop and he makes so much money, I get in touch with him and I says, okay, I'm, I'm flying to Bangkok because he lives in Bangkok and I want you to show me how it works, right? So I'm going to spend one full day and you're going to teach me how uh, because you you just want to teach me. <laughs> All right, the truth is the reason why many of them will teach me because um, they are grateful for what I've done in the past, helping them and teaching and so on. So cut the story short. So I flew to Bangkok, right, to meet Bang and another of my friend um, who is my, my previous student. And we met in cafe, right? And I said, okay, now 
I don't believe you. I don't, I don't believe, you know, how could you make so much money by selling a like $10, $20 product, right? I mean, you got to sell like a lot. So uh, he teach me his system and then he put out his, open his laptop, he log into his account, his Stripe account, and he showed me how much money he makes, right? So I, I could not believe it because it is insane. It means that he has sold hundreds of thousands of units of products and nobody even know about him at all. Right. So uh, he literally showed me, I flew into Bangkok. The next day I flew back and I say, you know, I got to have bank to teach how it works. Now he can share with you his website because he doesn't want competitors, obviously, but he can share with you his concept and his strategy. Now, how many of you want to learn from bank in that sense? Because if you are interested to learn from bank, this is the opportunity that you can do. Um, you can see the link that we have in the comments there, right? Uh, my team will put it there. So I want you to click on the link. You don't have to join anything right now. I just want you to click on the link right now. You open up a new web page so that you can, you can, if you want to go through the web page about the virtual summit, and if, if you haven't secured a seat, you can do that. And then we can continue with the training, right? So um, go ahead and click on the link right now. And once you have clicked, just type click in the chat there and once you have all those who have replied with clicks uh, i'm gonna share with you next all right so but isn't that amazing how many of you will be excited at that just to know how this ordinary person this ordinary man right could travel around the world and bring his laptop and work right and make millions and how would he be that insane to send six million dollars on facebook ads and this is like the real expert i don't call uh, him a guru because we are not interested about gurus. We just want experts. We don't want, you know, those typical polished speakers to come out and, you know, tell you about their story and stuff like that. No, 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 no. We just want real life experts. All right. So uh, type click if you have click. All right. So uh, we have Juan Chi who have already typed click. Uh, Sunny. All right. How about the rest of you? Just type click in the chat there for me to know that you have clicked on the link so that you can check it out later on. All right. So SK, Steven, Ibrahim. Okay. So this is one of our, um, our featured expert that will be sharing in the virtual summit. I will, of course, be teaching as well, but we have a total of six experts to be on stage uh, at that time. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about MCO model number two. It's called selling to the local market. Yes, this is an MCO opportunity that's happening right now. So what it is, is basically selling digital products, also known as information products to the local market on various of topics for them to improve themselves. Now, let me just ask you this, okay? So be with me, stay with me, right? Uh, I hope that you can share with me because I want to know what appears on your Facebook as well. If I go through my Facebook newsfeed, every single day I will see new ads coming up, right? With people who I have no clue, I've never heard before about some stuff that they're selling. Free webinars, some books, some courses, uh, uh, virtual summits, and, and so on, who are like, I've never heard before. Now, what is that telling you? It's telling you one thing, right? It's telling you that local market is buying and buying and buying with information products but let's do this quick fun um short survey i just want to know right you browse through your your news feed right type there what ads did you see whether is 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 the product the topic just just let me know just let me know i just i just want to know um how true is my guess All right do you see lots of ads is it fair for me to say like every single day when you browse through your facebook news feed you will see ads related to information product. So property, okay, some seminars about property. I mean, virtual seminar. Doodly software ads, you know, getting you to buy some software on how to do doodle videos. What else? What else? Where are you? Let me know in the comments. Stock pick, right? Like how to do stock trading. Uh, how to make money during the, the greatest opportunity of all time, you know, okay? What else? Virtual webinar, Bitcoin, right? One of the most favorite topic in times like this. What else? Come on, one more, one more, one more, and then we shall continue here. 
e-com, right? E-com, another hot topic, right? So we see all of that. So what is happening is that the local market is hot right now, right? You don't need to sell digital products or information products to US anymore. You could be selling in the local market and achieve a lot of success. And this is where the opportunity is. People are staying at home and also seeking ways to improve themselves for their careers or side hustles. Isn't that true? Like right now, because of the situation, uh, people want to make sure that, you know, they can retain their jobs uh, and they don't want to get retrenched. Not now. They don't want to change jobs right now. It's the best time to improve your, your, your skill set so that you can improve or should I say, uh, maintain your career or some who think that hey there's so much uncertainty I think I should start something and they like to call this side hustling and build something at that at that time right so that's where the opportunity comes in and I can tell you this whether it's English Bahasa Chinese all of this market are now being penetrated right if you um, using Bahasa, I'm pretty sure that if you run through a news feed, you see a lot of Bahasa courses, Bahasa books, and so on. If you're in the Chinese market, the same thing. You will see overnight gurus coming out claiming to know how to do funnels, how to do everything, and they're ready to teach you, right? For, you know, a fee or maybe for free. So the next thing I'll share with you is the strategy. So if you were to go in this model, selling to the local market, the strategy to achieve success with this is to create a funnel to sell. So the market doesn't know who you are yet. So you need to set up a funnel in order to walk them through so that uh, they have trust with you. They believe that you are the expert, that you can help them to go to the next level, right? So the best way is for them to go through a program that you have uh, where we call it a funnel. Now, here's the thing is that, that the strangest thing is what all of these gurus has been teaching about trying to do branding, how to improve your, your offer and so on, right? Here's how you do a good funnel. I'll tell you this is that just deliver what you promise. That's it. Now, here's the thing, right? People talk about branding strategies and so on. That's, there's no requirement to learn branding strategy. Branding, it's you. You'll be the brand. And how do you be a brand where it is powerful, where it is recognized? Well, just deliver what you promise. That's it. That's it. Don't try to figure out how you can, you know, do this and do that, make the market to, to believe something that is not true. Just deliver your stuff, right? People don't care whether you have spoken for, for uh, in front of 10,000 people. People don't care about how many success stories that you have. They only care what you can do for them. And that's what you do in your funnel. You deliver the results that you promise to them. Full stop, done, right? I've seen so many people um, faking their way uh, to be authority. Like for instance, you may see fan pages that have 1 million fans, right? And yet when they make a post, they only have like five likes. Let me say this again. You've seen fan pages with 1 million fans, but when they make a post, they only have five likes. Now, what's that telling you? You're smart. You can figure this out, right? So what they're trying to do is to show, hey, you know, I have 1 million fans, so I must be a guru, Right? And yet there's only five likes. So there's no point for you to do that. If you are good, you can just have 1,000 fans and you deliver results and the 1,000 fans will respond to you. Are you with me? If you're with me, type yes. If this is valuable about creating the perfect funnel, type yes. All right. Thank you, Zaino and um, Sunny. Okay. All right. So let's move on, right? Uh, MCO model number three consulting business. So what is consulting business? It's basically selling consulting service based on your expertise or experience to companies and business owners. Now, this is not for everybody. Uh, this is for you if you have experience 
or if you have expertise, like for instance, if you work for a company, let's say you are a supervisory level or management level, you are executive, you are a manager and so on. Now you can be a consultant. You see that? You can be consulting other business owners or companies based on the expertise that you have. Or let's say you are, you are not executive or higher management job but you have certain expertise. Like for instance, you are a trainer, right? You can be a consultant. You see this? So consulting business is another MCO model opportunity that's happening right now. And the reason is because there's this opportunity where companies and business owners are looking for solutions to their business problems. And also because of cost down right now, uh, for companies, they don't mind to explore lower costs uh, where they can engage freelance consultants. You see that? They don't have to hire big companies. They can go for, for even individuals to do consulting. And a lot of business owners, they can't afford consulting companies, but they can afford to hire you as a consultant for their business. There are all kinds of consultation involved. For instance, let's say you have some expertise. Let's say you know law or let's say you know uh, company management. There will be companies and business owners they will pay you for consulting. And this is a good opportunity because if you think about it, right? Let's say you want to make, um, let's say you want to make 100,000 per year. All right. No big deal, right? Let's say you make 100,000. So if you sell digital products, let's say you sell a product for 100. Let's say, let's just say, right? 100. So how many eBooks you need to sell to make 100,000? 100 times 1,000. Is that correct? Yeah, one, you need to sell, you need to get 1,000 customers just for you to make 100,000. You know how much work will be involved for that matter, but let's flip and talk about consulting business. Let's say you just have a client for 10,000. You just need 10 clients to make 100,000 per year business. And your workload is not that much because you only need to serve 10 business. You just need to serve 10 clients. And because they are business owners and companies, chances are they don't have time to talk to you every day. You know, you just need to update them. You spend time to consult their business and help them from that. Do you start to see how exciting is this? If you're excited, if you just got this million dollar idea, okay, maybe six figure idea, not a million dollar idea, type yes there. I want to make sure that, that I'm delivering to you. My goal here is to teach, right? I, I prefer to be known as a teacher than a marketer. That's what I do. I'm just, just, I'm just going to teach, all right? Even though if I'm not charging, I'm just going to teach, okay? All right, rest, okay? So um, how do you do this? So now I'm going to share with you the strategy, right? The strategy is called provide consultative selling. So if you want to build a consulting business, you don't go out there and start selling and say, you know, we are so successful. We have all these clientele and so on. No, 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 no. If you start doing that, you, um, you're not adding value. So what is consultative selling? Consultative selling is basically to consult your client and then give them the option whether they want to hire your consulting service or not. Like for instance, in our company, we consult companies and business owners, and then we offer our consulting service for Google AdWords. So we don't run ads, uh, we don't run Google AdWords for individuals or affiliate marketers or you know solo pronouns and so on. But uh, if you are a business owner, that's in like you have like a physical business or you are a company uh, that have staff and so on, that you have real brand and so on, we, we offer that service. You know, we offer that service as a consultative uh, package to clients. So here's what um, consultative selling is about. So let's say a, a, a company that sells, um, again, water tumbler, right? No, copper, copper bottle, right? So the first thing what we do is that, okay, so if you're interested to learn how to sell your copper bottle on the internet, you will, you will schedule an appointment session with our expert, right? With our team. And then we'll consult you. 
So then we'll tell you, okay, this is the opportunity that you have. Are you currently using Google to get customers? Are you using YouTube um, to get traffic? Are you doing all of those? Okay, so you're not doing that. All right, so do you know that you can do that by using Google AdWords? Google AdWords, here's how it works. You pay whenever you get clicks. And with the right strategy, the right system, you can get conversion and so on. So we educate our customers. You see where I'm coming from? No selling. And at the end of that 30 minutes, we tell customers, hey, uh, as what we have shared with you, we do have a consulting package. If you want, we can help you to run Google AdWords. Would you be interested? That's it. That's consultative selling. Anyone feel being sold? No. People love it, right? So um, that's how you can do it if you want to get into the consulting business. And this can be done at home because right now during the MCO, people, clients can accept the fact that they're not going to meet up with you. I don't think they want to meet up with you anyway. So all of this can be done over the internet, right? Isn't that exciting? One client, you could make 5,000 or maybe 1,000 or maybe 10,000 rather than selling books. I'm not saying that selling books is not good. I'm just telling you there's another model for you to make six figure a year, okay? Now, I want to also share with you our another featured expert. We have six featured experts in the virtual summit, right? Uh, this, is, this is a virtual summit that, that I think that you want to check it out. I mean, two days of sharing and education. Um, Andrew Chia is another of our future experts. You have never heard of him, probably, because this is not a stage speaker. You don't see him on big stage talking, selling packages. No, that's not what he does. Uh, he's con but he's consulting clients. You have never heard of him. You have never heard of his company, but his consulting clients even include Intel, Dyson. You know Dyson, the, 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 hair, zzz, the hair dryer thing, right? Is Central. A uh, huge company is a global brand. Uh, Monash University, KFC Malaysia. Who doesn't know KFC? Chevron, the car, uh, SB Satya, real estate um, property developer, Zara, the clothing, and even work with the Mauritius government. But get this, Andrew, it is not a consulting company. This is someone who is able to run his consulting business by just freelancing. Imagine that you can work with not just business owners, but companies, right? And you don't need to be like a big consulting companies with huge overheads and so on. Uh, how would that change your business? Wouldn't you love it that you can be a consultant? Because if you want to achieve this, um, I, I want you to check out the virtual summit. We have the link there again. Here's the link to the virtual summit. You can click on the link. Do that, click that right now. Okay. In fact, click that right now. Go ahead and click it. Once you click, type click. So I'm inviting Andrew uh, for the first time ever to review his system. I want him to share how can someone with experience or uh, expertise, of course. I mean, you cannot be a consultant if you don't have expertise or experience. So let's let's get real, okay? Um, to teach, how can you get started doing that? All right, so let's continue from here. Uh, MCO model number four is called e-com funnel. So what is an uh, e-com funnel? So building a funnel, but for physical e-commerce product to sell online. When people talk about I mean, when you share the word e-commerce, you start to think of e-commerce store, like this big store, like a lot of products to buy and so on. And that's what all these gurus been telling you, you know, go ahead and set up an e-commerce store and people will just go to your store and buy stuff and then you become rich overnight or something like that, right? So uh, that is the, the basic, how, how would I say, the basic uh, pitch that people are talking about. But let's face the fact, right? The reality is that nobody's going to buy stuff from your store because they don't know you. They don't know your brand. Let, let me just put it the other way around. Let's ask yourself, right? Let's say you are a gal, you're a girl, and you want to buy a lipstick, right? Where would you buy your lipstick? Would you go to an unknown store and buy a lipstick where you don't even know the brand? You don't even know this website? Would you buy your lipstick 
and use it or some makeups, where would you go to buy your makeups or lipstick if you have to go online? You go to a website that is brand, right? You go to an authority store to buy your lipstick. You're not going to buy from Abu Achong Rami Rumutami dot com website you go to a brand are you with me or not right i'm just being very transparent with you so it doesn't really work by setting up another store in that sense or you will go to uh, major websites like what, what websites do you shop in just type there i want to know where do you shop how many of you shop at shopee how many of you shop at uh where else where else do you shop other than shopee type there and let me know amazon okay Lazada, okay. Shopee, Lazada. Shopee and Lazada, right? I mean, that's where you go and buy stuff, right? And and you you don't go to some achongsamadramasami.com website. You just don't do that. You go to Shopee or Lazada, right? So uh, that's the reality of it. So setting and building up a store is not going to get you sales in that sense. So the strategy to do that is to basically... Uh, set up e com funnel. So the opportunity is this e commerce purchasers have spiked up drastically uh, during pandemic, right? So you want to be in, um, in the e commerce space because there's huge opportunity. Many people have now started buying stuff on the internet, even those in this region right now, not just in America, not just in the US, but in fact, all around the world, right? So people are now buying on the internet and you need to write on this. So the strategy is to do e com funnels, just like the same concept of funnels, but instead of selling um, uh, courses or books and so on, right? You sell physical products, but only sell a singular product and turn that into a funnel where you will sell them and then the funnel will lead them to your e-commerce store. So you build trust with them first with your, with your funnels and then you will still promote your e-commerce store but build it in a very different way. And this is an opportunity right now because as, as I share with you, um, e-commerce is growing like crazy right now. All right, anyway, uh, if you haven't clicked, it's jo.my slash zoom 2021, all right? My team will now put the link there. Make sure you have clicked on the link right now. So MCO model number five, all right, which we come to the final one. And the one that I love the most among all of these, my favorite is live training slash classes, live classes of live training. So what it is, is basically conducting live training over the internet, such as workshops, coaching, uh, even doing webinars, uh, or even doing a, a seminar, like what we're doing right now, the virtual summit is live training. So not just workshops, but an entire event can now be on the internet, right? So this is an MCO model. Right now is the best time to get onto live training. So anyway, let me explain to you where this opportunity comes in. The opportunity. Offline events are no longer applicable during the pandemic. Therefore, the demand for online has increased. It's not applicable anymore. Even if government doesn't put any restriction of lockdowns and so on. I mean, do you want to go in a room packed with 50 people for a workshop or 200 people for a seminar and sit, even though you have social distancing, but sit inside the room for eight hours together, breathing the same air for two days? Even without the rules by government, I'm not going into a room with 200 people and stay there for like two days in a AC room, air conditioned room, sharing the same air for two days. You see where I'm coming from? So it's, it's, it's gone. I'm telling you offline events um, are gone. Even seminar organizers who uh, are doing seminars in the past, they have already... I would say improvise their strategy and realize that 
that's it. They can't wait anymore. This is not, this is not ending. Uh, and now they are now doing virtual events and so on, right? Of course, they could struggle a bit because um, the, the landscape has changed. You don't need seminar organizers anymore. If you are trained with my expertise, right, you could be doing your own events. I mean, why would you need someone to promote for you when they are just promoting online, just like how you can be promoting online if you're trained by me and learn the same strategies and so on to do that. So let me share with you the strategy. There are two ways of how you do this. Um, it's either free, short workshop or class similar to this, but you deliver real content, real value, right? Are you learning good stuff right now? I mean, out of these five MCO models, you know, is it fair for me to say that you have learned at least something, right? If, if you do, let me know in the chat there. It really means something to me because I, I'm investing this time to be a teacher, to share with you for the past one hour or so. Let me know there by typing yes, okay? All right. Okay. Thank you for that. All right. So I try my best. You know, I do have an offer, which is my virtual summit. I just told you that. Uh, but I want to make sure that, you know, that I'm sharing, I'm sharing value with you. Anyway, uh, the strategy is this. You can do a short training like this. Okay. And it can be free. Like why is it free? And if you don't have anything to sell, what you can do is you can find someone who has something for sale, but they don't know how to sell, right? So for instance, um, there could be other uh, products out there. Like for instance, let's say, let's say I'm just making this up, right? Someone is trying to sell real estate properties, right? But they, they do not know how, how to go live, right? And you can be the person who go live and teach and then say, hey, if you want to buy property, uh, you can buy here. And then you take a cut for commissions, right? Or the other, the other version is to do paid uh, long duration training. So like for instance, the virtual summit, it is, it is not free, it's a paid event because we have to put so much work and resources and so on to actually do it uh, for our attendees. So, so you can just charge if you're doing a long duration training. And the reason why we charge and we don't do it for free because you want to deliver. It's, it's pretty obvious, right? I mean, if we do it for free and we don't make money, it's impossible to deliver good value. It's impossible to deliver content, right? But when we charge a very minimal, minimal fee, right? Where we can still make fairly some income, make the company profitable, and then we can now focus on delivering value. Does that make sense? Anyway, uh, let's go back here. Summary, MCO model number one is called print on demand e-commerce. MCO model number two, selling to the local market. MCO model number three, consulting business. MCO model number four, e com funnel. And MCO model number five, live training class. So I hope that uh, this has been valuable for you and you can use any of these for you to, to do something during this MCO period and turn this into profitable months for you. All right.